2023 is just around the corner and the zoning might just determine the candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. And it's all well between Bola Tinumbu and Rahuf Aregbeshola as Tinumbu dissolves all political groups and factions of the party in Lagos State. This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladeindu. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has implied that a zoning arrangement would play a key role in deciding who emerges as the party's candidate in the 2023 presidential election. This was implicitly stated a few days after former Vice President Atiku Abubakar was reported to be planning to contest the 2023 presidential ambition. However, Adamu Abubakar, Atiku's first son, has denied saying his father will contest for the presidential election in 2023. Joining us to discuss this is uh, Bode George, a member of the PDP Board of Trustees, who is also uh, a former vice chairman, Southwest PDP. Is joining us via Zoom, and also we will later be joined by Fred Inzako. But let's start with Chief Body George. Chief Body George, welcome to Plus Politics. My pleasure. Okay, let's start with this question. I'm sure you read uh, the intro I just read up now. And uh, you yes. listen to that. What is your take yes. on the party's position, or you are not party to these, despite the fact that you're a member of the Board of uh, Trustees? Yeah, of course, it has not been discussed. But what was stated, um, it's the norm. You know, the, uh, the publicity secretary didn't get out of the, uh, the, the usual norm of the party. Um, yes, the party will have to meet discussions at different levels uh, of the zoning before we head out. But you, you know, now we are not in government. Uh, so another parameter that will be considered will be where does the uh, um, APC intend to draw their own candidate? You know, that will also play a part in making the, uh, taking a final decision on the zoning for the presidential uh, candidate. Okay, uh, because I was going to say that, uh, is, this, is this a sign that uh, the party may not know the next line of action until the APC takes a step? Is it about uh, catching up with APC or you have a clear direction as a party? We, you know, like I said, ideally, you know, uh, if like if we were in government, you didn't need to wait for what the opposition would do. But now that we are in opposition, there is an extra parameter to be considered. And that would be where does APC choose its own candidate from? You, 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 you know, because uh, if we were in government, all those zoning those positions would have been so clear after eight years whatever is up in the north will come to the south whatever is in the south will come to the north but now that we are in opposition there is another extra parameter that must be considered hmm. apart from all the positions from the north coming to the south and the south going to the north there is a parameter now to be considered and that will be where does APC choose his own candidate from? It's very, very important. Hmm. Very, very important. I, I will remind you some of the things that happened in the build-up to the emergence of the national chairman of your party, which is Secundus, yeah. which you also yeah. vied for. I, I recall yeah. one of the things that you vehemently opposed to is that uh, mm. the party turned away from zoning arrangement. So how sure are you that uh, the goalposts will not be changed when it is time. No, no. 
You know, that time, there was only one statement that made the whole thing look absolutely woolly and unacceptable. The position of president goes to the north and he can come to the south. But the chairmanship of the position of, of the party, when it comes to the north or the south, will also be rezoned within the south. You, do, 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 are you following me? Yes. You, you see, the position of the president, let me, let me try and take you through it. The only position that is not micro-zoned is the presidential candidature. Once it is zoned to the north or south, it is not micro-zoned. But the position of the national chairman of the party, once it comes to the north or the south, is further micro-zoned, either to go to the uh, southwest or southeast or south-south, but not the position of the president. Once the president goes to the north, anybody in the northern belt can contest for it. But when the former chairman of the party, that was uh, the, gov the former governor of uh, Kaduna State, now zoned the chairmanship position to the south and said he could go to any zone, that was where we disagreed with him. That you, you, you must micro-zone the position of the national chairman because the other 12 positions of the National Working Committee are also micro-zoned. You don't compare the position of the national chairman of the party with that of the president. No. It's only the president once it goes to either north or south. Chief, chief. Can uh, be contested uh, by anybody. Let, let, let me interject you there. Uh, uh, there's something that yeah. uh, probably the southeast may be asking now if they were to join in the okay. conversation and we hope to get one of them immediately we, we're done with you uh, uh, let's look at this yeah. idea of the north and the south uh, blocks why are we not remembering yeah. the six geopolitical zones why should it be because yeah. some people will say that the north is going to have eight years irrespective of which party is involved should yeah. it not even be yeah. in the picture at all looking at the argument of some parts of the south yeah that, that 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 is true that will come to the position at the discussion level it will still be debated it will still be uh, repackaged at that meeting people will argue for and against and uh, finally we must agree uh uh to who the the, the 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 position will fall on. Uh, it is true that the southeast has not had the chance. South South has run as president. The southwest has also run as the president. And so it's only the southeast that has not run for the president. But that will come at the discussion table. Who is coming up? who is more likely to be acceptable nationally. You know, the party position is within our party. But whoever will be competing for the national president of this country is not a party matter. All the other Nigerians who are from 18 years and above will be voting for him. But that's not the issue with the, the position of the national chairman of the party. National chairman of the party is just a member of the National Working Committee. And, you know, all the other positions are equally microzoned. So the position of the national chairman is microzoned. But okay. when it comes to the presidency, because many Nigerians will have to be involved in taking that decision, we got to be careful who will come. I'm not saying that the Southeast should not compete for it, too. They will. They will bring out their own, you know, whoever the 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 the, 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 the consensus, if they can have a consensus, or as many people as they can come out from that will compete. It is not limited 
and it cannot be micro zone. The presidential position is never micro zone. And that was why when the McAfee now misconstrued the whole thing and said, oh, the chairmanship of the party is also leave open to everybody in the Southwest. It was a misnomer. And that really caused so much mayhem in the party. It's only okay. the presidential candidature that is not micro zone. So when it comes to the South, again, anybody in the South can say, yes, I want to. But in the final decision within us, we will say, okay, who is the candidate coming from your side there? You bring them up. The, the, the leaders okay. will weigh them out and uh, say, okay, or if they cannot resolve it, okay, Chief, all of you go to the primary. Chief, what, what gave birth to this you, uh, you statement? Chief, sorry, what gave birth to this comment credited to the publicity secretary of your party was a question mm. from journalists, you know, in court, okay. probably uh, uh, which the son of Atiku has denied. As the fact that uh, Atiku mm. may be nursing the 2023 ambition, we know how you stood behind Atiku. If Atiku is coming yeah. up again, are you likely yeah. to give him your support? It depends on the decision of the party. If the party looks at all, you know, when you uh, if you don't do proper planning and uh, serious discussion, you will you will end, end up in, in mayhem. It will be debated. It will be discussed. The quality of who is coming up, the weight of who is coming up, uh, the 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 the, uh, the, uh, the decision by the opposition will also be part of the parameters to be considered. So you, you cannot... If we were in government now, it, it is clear and caught that, yes, this is... Uh, that uh, the North has had eight years, for sure, it must come to the South. But this discussion I'm having with you on this zoning concept is not the same with APC. So there is need for us. They don't do the kind of zoning that we do to make sure. They don't, they, in fact, they said their leaders told us that they don't believe in zoning. Have we forgot? <laughs> so we, we will need to uh, 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 get so much information from everybody, and then the leaders will sit down, board of trustee okay. members, the caucus members, Chief. The, you know, the, 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 who is who will sit down and make a decision whether it's going to remain in the north or come to the south and okay. we must be able to defend it to the electorate okay chief uh, this might be a very good opportunity to confirm conflicting reports yeah. about you yes. um is it yes. true that uh, you have 2023 ambition to become the president of nigeria and anytime i said it I said that depends on where it is zoned. Because if, if, you, if you sit, you may have the intention you want to contest, but you, it's not a private company. You see, go back to the boardroom where people will discuss, do the actual zoning, and then if it's coming to the south, why not? Oh. I will. Okay. But if it's not coming to the south, and we agree why it is not coming to the South, the reasons for and against, and we all agree because it, it, it is not a private company. It's a, it's, it's a political organization, and unless we go and discuss and uh, marshal out serious points for and against, and then you must, we must be rational. Chief. We must be rational. Chief, and uh... then, of course, whatever is the final decision, we will look at how Nigerians, the electorate, the Nigerian electorate will view our decision. Chief, uh, 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 someone would say that probably that's one of the reasons why you believe that uh, presidential position should not be micro-zoned. And let me no, just remind you, Chief, let me remind you, Chief, no. that it was on the yeah. PDP that we heard about the six geopolitical zones. As much as yes. it's, not con it's not in the Constitution, but people will remind no. us in the federal character. So do that's you, right. are you one of those people who believe that um, you still need to microzone when the Southeast has not had a bite since 1999? Shouldn't you relinquish this ambition for someone in the Southeast? You know, 
that's why I am saying that the presidential candidature of our party is never micro zone. It is zoned either to the north or the south. If you remember, 1999, it was zoned to the south, not southwest. Papa Ekweme contested with Papa Obasanjo. You remember that? Very well. And even Rimi, he went on his way and said he was going to contest for the presidential primaries. But eventually, yes, the party may take the decision. Once it comes to, to, to the South, anybody can contest. The party will now say, look, because of uh, certain issues, we believe it should be on so, 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 and so. But it, there is no official stamp to say you microzone it only to the Southwest or to the Southeast or to the South-South. Never. It is not done. It okay. is the national chairmanship of the party that is microzone because there are 12 members, you know, in the National Working Committee. And those 12 members represent... If you divide 12 by, by, uh, by uh, 6, it means you will have 2-2 two, two for each zone to be in the working committee. Okay, you Chief. Know? And once every position that has been in the north has come back to the south, the south will go back to the north, then every zone will have two members of the National Working Committee. Chief, uh, probably... Because of time, this might be my last question for you. Um, for the young people who are watching here, they might differ yeah. with you, some might differ with you, that um, yeah. I thought it's time for us to allow the younger generation to take the seat of power. Why are you still interested in taking over, even in your 70s? You know, experience is not something you just garner from your sitting room. If anybody believes he still has the strength, the experience to manage this nation, why not? Are you barred by the Constitution? So look at it legally and look at it socially and look at it intellectually. There's no time back. Look at America today. Obama became president. The youngest, or it was Kennedy, but today Biden is 77 years old or 78 years old. Trump is about 73 or 74 years old. It is not the hood that makes the monk. You need to sell yourself, your ideas, what you have been, what you have done how you have been able to carry yourself and the trust by the people. I'm not saying any young man cannot come. Let him come and tell us his own uh, uh, experiences. You know, and experience is not something you just buy off the shelf. You go through all kinds of things in life. That's what makes you a, a, a complete human being. And experience is not something you learn in the classroom. You know, so... It, 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 once the Constitution allows you to contest, like it's done in civilized world, why not? Why not? Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Chief uh, Olabode George, who is a member of the Board of Trustees of PDP. Thank you for your time. Uh, we wish you the best of luck in your ambition. Thank you so much. Yeah, we pray to God. We thank God for everything. The, the 2023 20, 20, is still three years from now. We just pray. Okay. Thank you so you much. Know. Yes, uh, uh, okay. let's... Uh, we are being joined by another political analyst and uh, he's going to be telling us... Uh, we have uh, Barrister Fred in Ziako, who is a lawyer and also a politician. Let's quickly take a break, and when we come back, it will be time for us to speak with Fred in Zaka. Please, don't go anywhere.